Uh, today you are at Shower Mar Middle Eastern Grill in Independence, Missouri. This is the second location, my second baby as I tell my customer. Today I'm going to show you how to make hummus the authentic way without any preservatives or funny stuff as I said. We make it perfect over here by the way, so you're always welcome to come and get it. Chickpeas, soaked chickpeas, cooked uh, chickpeas, uh, lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, you need to get really good high quality tahini, garlic, salt, through everything that we get in the store, uh, except for the poultry, meat and veggies are imported. High quality, I promise you, we get the best quality that we can find because at the end result you can taste it. We need to get some chickpeas, cooked chickpeas. So now we added some ice. As you can see, it's creamy. We add the lemon juice. Make sure that you get lemon, not lime, and a good amount of it if you like it to be the authentic way. So lemon of course for freshness and to brighten the color with the ice, the ice and the lemon juice brighten the color. The tahini, the tahini it makes it healthier because you're adding a lot of healthy fats and to make it creamier. Now we're gonna blend it again until we reach the point that it's like a whipped cream. So part of the original recipe that you need to have good quality tahini in it, not the roasted one, just the regular tahini, and it's for the flavor, to get the real flavor. Some, some people they make it without the tahini, but that's only chickpeas and lemon juice. Uh, the other thing, it's going to make it creamier. You don't want it to be dense, like you need to dig in it. That's not the authentic hummus, at least from my point of view. Extra virgin olive oil. And as you, as you saw, we don't add it inside. We just garnish it so you can see the amount of oil that you're having. So I love a lot of chickpeas. Of course, the cooked one over here. We serve it with the Lebanese pita bread. I like a lot of chickpeas on top of it. This is the way that I was used to. And a lot of olive oil. I don't know about you, but if you come here, you always can ask for more, more olive oil. And as I told you, if you like it spicy, you can spice it up with some shatta sauce. It tastes amazing. You can find everything fresh, tasty, and nice here at Shower Mar in Independence, the new location, East Valley View Parkway.